Today we celebrate the life of Craig Gillen. It's going to be it's a beautiful day, of course. That's how Craig would have it. So the sun is shining. Uh, all his friends, family are here, and we're going to love, remember him, celebrate him, and keep him in our hearts. So it's going to be a special day, and we're glad everybody's out here today. Thank you for the life of Michael Craig, a true dear friend, a brother. We miss him. We take joy knowing that he's with you right now, but we miss him deeply. We do celebrate that he's with you, Father, and today we just want to honor him. We just want to love on him. And Father, we just ask that you give us peace today, give us peace every day, and especially for the entire Gillen family, Father. Pray that you wrap your loving arms around each and every one of them and provide them the comfort that only you can provide. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus, all God's people said. I'd like to call up our dear friend and brother, Bubba Gillen. Thank you, Rex. That was very beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, I want to thank everybody here for coming out. What a great, unbelievable turnout. You got it. We love you, Bubba. You got it, it, brother. I want to thank Tom and Shannon for letting us do this here and for letting me and Craig live here. This was Craig's paradise. And he, we moved here. He said, this is where I want to die. He oh. told me that when we moved here. Oh. And uh, Tom donated the tiki bar to Craig, so we had a nice yes. sign up here. Yes. If anybody took to take a look at that at some point today. So we dedicated a tiki bar to Craig. And uh, he loved this pool. I mean, he, yes. he'd have yes. surgery on his back, and the next day he'd be out here back in the pool. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, Craig, relax. I'll do that. No, I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> But he was the harbor master That's right. of this place here. He kept everybody in line. You know, <laughs> if you pulled in the wrong parking spot, he was barking orders like, "You can't park there. You got to park over here." <laughs> if somebody went and got a bag of ice and didn't put three dollars in, yeah. he'd write the tag number down of there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 True story. <laughs> So he really, you know, he got to meet a, a lot of the people. We've met a lot of good people out here, and a lot of these people live over on the island, and, you know, this is where they have their boats and their cars, and uh, we kind of overlooked the place for, for Tom, and uh, we, enjoyed, we enjoyed doing that. You know, it's a blessing to do that, because look where we live. We're in paradise. I mean, I mean every day we get up, we just say, wow, this place is beautiful. You know, why would we ever want to leave? He, he hated going to town. <laughs> we get in a little bit of traffic in Palak. He's like, get back out to the woods. But get back out to the woods. <laughs> God bless if we ever had to go to Orlando. I mean, he was, he had to eat a muscle relaxer just to get through that. <laughs> yeah. He just loved being out here with, with all his family and friends. And I'll tell you, we've had some, we've had some good times here that, the day before he passed, we had a great party right here, yeah. and uh, we had three bushels of oysters. He loved oysters. We had a live band up here. He loved live music. He you know, just loved it, and we had a great party, and uh, 
so he, he went off, you know, with the bang, that's for sure. You know, people live to be 80, 90 years old, and, you know, at the last 30 years of their life, or 20 years, or even the last couple of years, you know, they're, they're in a hospital, they're on a ventilator, they're suffering. Well, he didn't suffer, I can tell you that. He went and laid down that morning, he got up and had a cigarette with my sister Christy, and he said, tell Bubba to wake me up for breakfast. And he went and laid down, and he went out very peaceful. He was my best friend I've ever had. But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get through it. So uh, with all the support from all of you, I really appreciate it. And uh we love you, Bubba. I love all you guys. Thank you all so much. that I wish I could do. He lived life on his own terms and he had a blast doing it. He would want everyone to remember him in your own special way and keep on smiling. They say only the good die young and Craig was one of them good ones. God bless, buddy. If anyone else would like to say a few words, the mic is open. Thank you, Rick.
I promised myself and a couple other particular individuals I wouldn't get emotional, but uh, it's hard not to. Craig, he was a good buddy of mine, Craig and Kabubba. I, I remember when they moved in here, and before I had my houseboat out here, I was here every weekend, and uh, just real good people, just real good hospitality, and old Craig. Uh, my girlfriend Spring, her, her friend came here a couple times and said, yeah, Craig, he was just a big teddy bear. And he was. Good people. And uh, we had some boat parties and had a good time in the, I guess, five years it's been now. And uh, that's just a, a notch in my belt that I, you know, I'm fortunate enough and very thankful that I got to meet these two brothers. And, you know, when you step foot on that porch, they got the TV on, whether it be golf or NASCAR, it doesn't matter. You just feel the love. And Craig was always there. We shake hands and, and hug, and it just you feel the love. And uh, you know, I consider him a brother, like you know Bubba, and just just good people. So go on, Craig. Love you, brother. hard to follow up but after Rich's presentation there that was beautiful Rich yeah. and uh, and Bubba you're very strong yes. you know losing somebody that you love is really hard 
but uh, it'll make you stronger. And the only thing that you got on your side is time. So hopefully in time, you get stronger and things get better. But uh, you know, Craig was a, a beautiful soul. I, I wish I could tell y'all some stories, but yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not appropriate to give me yeah. too many of the um, beautiful ladies here today. But <laughs> I just wanted to say, um, you know, we're, we're going to miss Craig. And um, if you don't mind, I want to take a second and get a video. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can do a toast. Yes. 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 Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Craig. To Craig. 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 Right, here it goes. Craig. To Craig. To Craig. 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 Rock on, brother. What a beautiful turnout. Yes. Love you, Craig. Hey, Craig. Love you, man. Thanks, everybody. I might take one of your cell phones. Reverse it. I was fortunate to see Craig about a little over a month ago. He came to a birthday party. Bubba was there and Carla was there. We had a beautiful day in St. Augustine. We were at the beach, at the pool, had a great party. And at the end of the day, at the end of the night, before they left, Craig in his way. Love you, brother. Fantastic. It was fantastic. And we gave each other a hug. And he said, see you later. And I'll always remember that. And the thing about that is, I'm not going to get all religious on it because I'm not religious. I'm just a guy that believes in Jesus. And one day, I'm, all, you know, I'm, I'm king screw up. I screwed up so many times in my life. But I thank God for grace and mercy and forgiveness. And I've had great conversations with Craig over the years. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that he's in hell right now because he's a believer in Jesus. And that's the thing about it is, as a believer, when he said, I'll see you later, that's not goodbye, it's I'll see you later. Yep. So Craig is up there in heaven right now, and as I stated earlier, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more tears. He's walking on the streets of gold, he's celebrating life, and he is with Jesus. As Baba said, he went to sleep, and he woke up in the arms of Jesus Christ. How awesome is that? Amazing. Absolutely. That's where he's at. So we will miss him. And this is extended to everybody. So if you want to see Jesus, if you want to see Craig, I know Craig's with Mama now too, hanging out with her. If you want to see them, it's as simple as this. Just saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm a screw up. I need you in my life. Forgive me of my sins and let me live my life for you. And he forgives us in one day. Because guess what? Everybody here, everybody here will have a day like this. They'll be celebrating your life, all right? And we want to say, I'll see them later. I'll see them later. So throughout the day, 
as a believer in Christ, if you haven't, just say that prayer. Say, Lord, I, I'm a screw-up. <laughs> just like Rich. I'm a screw-up. <laughs> Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Mean it with your heart. And I'll spend eternity with you. And then when we leave, we get to hang out with Craig. And uh, hopefully they got fire up there. <laughs> but uh, throughout the day and throughout the rest of your life, whenever you're thinking of Craig, just lift up whatever you're drinking and say, see you later, brother. There's the love in this place. Right here. We love you, brother. We will love on you. We're always here always. for you. Yeah. So thank you. This is this defines love right here. True family and friends. Yeah. God bless you. Let me close in prayer. Let's party and have some food. That's right. All right. Food. Heavenly Father, thank you for Craig Gillen. Thank you for his life. Thank you for lived 52 years. And as Bubba talked about, many people will live 90 years, but Craig lived every second of it, enjoyed every second of it. So we celebrate that, Lord. Thank you for all of us just having the blessing of being able to know him, whether it was a month, two months, five years, ten years, all our lives. What a great honor. Our lives are better because we knew him and had him as a friend and a family. So welcome him into your arms, Jesus. And bless us, bless our time together. We will certainly miss Craig, but we will see him later. Bless our food, and in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, so um, my uncle Craig, he was with me from the time I was born. Like, he was there the day I was born. When my mom's water broke, he's like, get on the toilet, get on the toilet. And my, you know, they're all trying to get to the hospital and everything. Um, when my dad would be on the road, like traveling for work, he'd be gone for a couple months and back. And Craig was kind of like my placeholder dad I mean even though he was my uncle he'd be like you know you're what are you doing in those shorts or do this and do that and um he'd be in the bathroom brushing his hair putting on his cologne before we'd be like even going out on the boat he was just like anal like that he just always wanted to smell nice and look nice and uh I'd be like let me get in the bathroom we'd be fighting over the bathroom like like almost like brother and sister um yeah uh he was my uncle and i just loved him and he's kind of like my second dad and we'll miss him Amen. Amen.